In this lesson, we are going to discover a create function that is a little bit hidden and therefore not so well known as it should be in my view. It's the so-called measure input control and your users will appreciate it since it brings so much flexibility to your dashboards. We start with the total sales chart on the top left. Now, wouldn't it be great if our users could exchange the total sales by any other measure they wish? Probably yes. So we go to the Builder tab and first of all delete sales as a measure. We now scroll down to the end of the measure list to find this quite hidden function and click on Create Measure Input Control. We then can add any of our measures to the input control. For the sake of simplicity, I take three of them. Profit, Sales and Storage Costs, for example. As you can see, we have created a new little widget, which is our measure input control. I drag it to the filter section on the right and resize it to display all three measures. At the moment, profit is activated and we can easily switch between the measures. By double-clicking on the input control title, we can rename it to measures. If I delete the title of our previous total sales chart, the title will be automatically reset to the current measure that is selected in the input control. So when I change the measure, the title changes automatically. Let's do this for the pie chart too. We delete the existing measure sales and then we don't have to create another input control but select the existing one which can be found as measures. So the input control is now a part of our measures. I will apply the input control also for the product categories, the markets and the time series chart. Notice that the variance automatically recognizes the input control and calculates the right variance dependent on the active measure. Perfect, now we actually have created a second and a third dashboard for profits and storage costs with this little function. So remember the input control if someone asks for another measure in your dashboard. Sometimes it makes sense to use the same charts for another measure. Another use case could be an input control for different scales. Perhaps you have a user group that want to display the values as millions and another group as thousands. Then you could create two measures, one that is formatted as millions and the other one that is formatted as thousands and add these two measures into an input control. To finish this lesson, I want to show you that the measure input control can also be used as a dynamic text. Just select measure input control and click on measures. And then also your text automatically adapts when the measures are exchanged. If you want to become the SAC expert in your team, then please check out my SAC masterclass on Udemy. Follow the link in the description and thanks for watching this video.